Hello everyone, it is Will from the St. John's County Public Library System. And given that it's December, I thought it'd be fun to go over some Hallmark holiday movie selections. And a fun fact about Hallmark movies that I didn't know until I started uh, doing some research, a lot of their made for TV movies are actually based off books. And they're not all holiday related. There's a lot that aren't. So if holiday movies aren't your thing, I still encourage you to look at our Hallmark selection because there are a lot that have nothing to do with the holidays. Um, but I'm gonna jump right into it here with our first selection. So the first book I have is Debbie Maycomer's Call Me Mrs. Miracle. And if any of you are familiar with Debbie Maycomer, you know that she um, has a lot of books. They're pretty lighthearted, uh, nothing too heavy. And the Hallmark movie based off of this is also called Call Me Mrs. Miracle. And it tells the story of Jake Finley who needs a miracle to keep his business afloat. And the story of Holly Larson who needs her own miracle for her nephew and herself for the holiday season. And then enter Emily Merkel who's also known as Mrs. Miracle. Um, she seems to, to help these two characters find happiness over the holiday season. Um, it did spawn a sequel for Hallmark, so there is another Mrs. Miracle uh, movie. If, you are, if you're into Mrs. Miracle and Debbie Maycomer, I encourage you to check this out. So just a little caveat before we continue, I don't actually have a lot of the physical copies to show you the cover art on um, because a lot of these titles were checked out, which is great for us. I love um, I love it when I have trouble finding it because it's so popular, our patrons have it checked out. So next selection is called Christmas with Holly and it's based off of Lisa Clyde Pass's novel, Christmas Eve at Friday Harbor. And it tells the story of Maggie Conway um, who decides the city is not for her anymore and she moves to a seaside town of Friday Harbor in Washington state. Um, she opens a toy store and strikes up a friendship with the local coffee shop owner who is raising his six-year-old niece. Um, it's also pretty lighthearted. Uh, all of these, um, for the most part, have some sort of happy ending or happy part to them. So there should be nothing too, too heavy with any of these selections here. Um, the next one is November Christmas. And it's based off of a short story, not a full novel, um, also called November Christmas by Greg Kappa. And Vanessa, the main character, returns to her hometown library to read the book she wrote, November Christmas. Um, and it's about a town that rallies around a family who has a, a very severe illness in their family and how the town helps that family. So the last selection I have is the Christmas box based off of a book by Richard Paul Evans. And it's the story of a widow and the young family that moves in with her. And there it looks like a lot of Richard Paul Evans works have also been adapted into other Hallmark movies. Um, the selections I chose here today, even though they're really quick and short, um, made sure to pick a Hallmark uh, selection that had a book equivalent or at least short story equivalent. Um, there are plenty of others that have nothing to do with the holidays, like I said. And then we have plenty of Hallmark movies that aren't based off of any written material other than a screenplay to begin with. So if you're looking for something a little bit more lighthearted, uh, I know it's been a long year for probably all of us. Um, it's okay if you're not into Hallmark movies or even the source material that some of these are based off of. We have lots of different other types of lighthearted novels and movies for you to check out and we will be more than happy to help you find something that fits that if that is what you're looking for and i hope to see everyone soon and hope the end of the year is a good one for everyone have a good day bye